Hey guys, it's Ariana, and for today's video, I'm finally gonna be filming an updated band merch collection. I've honestly been meaning to make this video since March because I wanted to do these yearly, and the last one I posted one was last March. But I've been procrastinating the hell out of this video because I have so much band merch, and like, I'm gonna have to like unfold it and like refold it and put it in my drawers again. Like, there's a lot of work that's gonna be going into this video, and it's gonna take so long to edit. I already know. But yeah, honestly, most of my merch is bands I don't even listen to anymore. Um, like, I just kind of grew out of them. Like, my band merch is organized in piles. I have cringy shirts from cringy bands. Um, band merch, like, I like the bands, but I would never wear their shirts in public. Because, like, it's just, like, embarrassing. Like, I don't know if you know where I'm coming from. Yeah, this has been requested quite a few times, so I'm like, you know what, you just need to film this. Like, I really don't want to, but I need to get it over with. Also, this is not even all my merch. I was looking for some things and I have no idea where they went, so there's gonna be some things missing from this video. Also, if you've seen me wear merch and it's not in this video, it's probably my sister's and I probably just took it and wore it, so yeah. Anywho, we're just gonna get started with the um, pop punk pile. I never... <laughs> I don't really wear pop punk merch anymore, maybe unless I'm going to a pop punk show. Even then, I don't know, I just, pop punk isn't really like my number one thing anymore. And that's fine. Um, but I still listen to some of these bands. Just honestly have not even seen half those merch in so long because I like don't even wear it. Um, but I will never get rid of any of my merch because like, I spent money on it, okay? <laughs> and I just like to keep it for old times sake and I'll probably just end up wearing them as pajamas but um I'm just gonna start off this video is gonna be so long so first I have this neck deep shirt just has a grim reaper some man on it and on the back it says life's not out to get you I got this when I saw them on the neck deep state champs um knuckle puck like pacific tour then I have this I don't know why this is in the pop punk pile but I have this motionless and white like Halloween pumpkin shirt it's kind of like the Starbucks logo and on the back it has a bunch of tour dates this is from Warp Tour 2016 then next I have my the story so far shirt this is from Hot Topic honestly the story so far is probably my favorite pop punk band I don't think like I don't listen to that much pop punk anymore but I still love the story so far so Next I have a The Color Morale shirt, I got this from Hot Topic, it says home is where the hurt is, that's pretty emo. My camera cut me off and it's only the start of this video, but um, the next shirt I have is this Bring Me The Horizon shirt, um, it just says Bring Me The Horizon Steel City, and then the back it says death is the only salvation for me. I remember I got this when I was in like grade 9 and I was like, I would always wear a sweater or a flannel with this because I didn't want people thinking I was like that emo to have like some death quote on the back of my shirt. Then next I have this as it is shirt. Uh, I honestly don't know where this is from. Yasmin got it for me. I think it was for Christmas? Possibly. Um, but yeah, love her. Love this shirt. Then next I have this Blink-182 shirt and it says nobody likes you when you're 23. I honestly used to be so obsessed with pop punk. I think it's really cool to look at all my fan merch now too because like my music taste has changed so much and I have changed so much as a person like with my different music tastes. Then next I have a The Wonder Years shirt. Um, this is from their fall tour in 2015. has a bunch of tour dates at the back. Then next is this really wrinkled A Day to Remember shirt. I swear to god everyone has this shirt. Um, I used to love this shirt so much. I wore it literally all the time because I got so many compliments on it. Then next I have this real friend shirt and it says wow what a great day. Also from my pop punk phase. Um, I think I got this at Warp Tour. Yeah Warp Tour 2016 I think. And I have another as it is shirt. There's just like a vinyl on it which I thought was cool because I love vinyl. And I'm pretty sure I got this from Hot Topic. Next I have another real friend shirt. Um, this one is also from Hot Topic. Yeah it is. Oh my god, another Real Friends shirt. Um, and this one just says Pop Punk Sucks and it has them making like all derpy faces on it. I'm pretty sure I got this. What tour was it? I think it was with Mayday Parade? Was that them? Right? I have no idea, but I got it at a show. That's all I know. This pile has cringy shirts, 
cringy bands, and also some tank tops, which aren't really cringy, but they're just, they just all go in this pile. Okay, so first I have my Ice Nine Kills tank top. This is probably the only tank top that I'd still actually wear. Um, it just has the Ice Nine thing. I actually really like this one. Oh yeah, I got this at Warp Tour. Um, I don't remember which year. Then I have this Pierce the Veil tank top. Honestly, the tag is still on it. I've literally never worn it. But I bought it because one time for an art project, I literally drew something almost exactly like this. And then I saw it on a shirt and I was like, shook. So, um, I bought it. <laughs> then I have this Pierce the Veil crop top. I got this at Hot Topic also. Then I have this, what is this? Made a Parade muscle tank tee thing. <laughs> Um, I got this at Warp Tour. I have another Pierce the Veil tank top. Um, I got this from Hot Topic. Oh my god. Another Pierce the Veil tank top. Um, this one just looks like this, has the whole band on it from Warp Tour 2015. I honestly never wear this. I think I wore it like a couple times. It doesn't even fit. It looks so cringy. I just don't. Like, I don't know. I want to state some opinions on wearing some type of band merch, but I don't want people to hate on me. Um, next I have this tank top, and it's a Bring Me The Horizon tank top, and it says... What does it say? The higher I get, the lower I sink. I can't draw my demons, they know how to swim. Wow, that really basic, um, Bring Me The Horizon quote. Honestly, looking at these shirts just throws me back to when I had, like, bright red hair. And I was just, like, listening to Sleeping With Sirens, Pierceville, Ghost Town. Who else made a parade? I don't know, all those bands. Um, then I have the Sleeping With Sirens tank top that I never wear because the fit of the shirt just doesn't work. I also would not wear Sleeping With Sirens merch anymore. Um, I got this at Warp Tour. I don't remember which year. Whatever year they were on Warp Tour. Okay. Wait, I think they're on Warp Tour a lot of times. One year. Um, next I have this My Chemical Romance tank top. This is so emo. Um, the Black Parade. Ooh, next we have my two first band shirts, like my ev first ever band merch. Um, first I have this Mayday Parade shirt. It honestly looks so emo. Like, <laughs> yikes. Um, then the other one I got with that was this Sleeping With Siren shirt. Um, both of these were from Hot Topic. I just remember looking at the Hot Topic website and like wanting these shirts so bad. I hate myself. Um, oh, here we got a nice throwback band. Um, the Ready Set. <laughs> I used to love them. I'm not even gonna like deny that. Um, the, the lead singer dude, I think his name was Jordan? Honestly, no clue. Um, signed it. It's like kind of a cool looking shirt, but um, would never ever wear this in public. I think I was still wearing this shirt in grade 9, but in grade 9 I was still kind of like in my emo -ness. Um, this next shirt, I actually like this band, but hate the shirt. Um, it's a Marmoset shirt. Great band. They're coming out with new music. Finally. I feel like they've been on a hiatus forever. Um, one of my favorite female-fronted bands. Um, this shirt's really obnoxious, <laughs> but, um, I love the band, so, yep. Band. I saw them, well, at the time, I thought I saw them so many times. I saw them, like, three times. And I was like, wow, I've seen this band so many times. Um, I just really loved them but um the first shirt that i got from them is this one and i got this at warp tour in 2014 i think then i have another ghost town shirt um i think i got this on the issues tour with marmosets i think um it says i want you black moon Honestly, like, I still like the art, kind of artwork they do for these shirts, but, um, don't listen to this band <laughs> at all. I would not be caught dead in their merch, but if you like them, that's cool. Just, we're at different places in our lives. Um, moving on to, um, long sleeves, I think. So, the first long sleeve I have is this Silverstein long sleeve shirt. It has stars all along the side. I always found this shirt so weird because it's like an American flag with her Canadian band. Um, I don't really wear this one that much because the sleeves don't like tighten or at the end and I don't really like that. And also it just looks weird. 
I don't know why, but um, don't really wear this one that much. I only wear it when it's like cold and I have nothing else to wear. Um, still like the band though. Then I have this Mod Sun long sleeve. It says, no matter the amount of negativity you're presented with, five minutes from now could be your best moment. Um, used to love Mod Sun. Um, I still kind of like him. Haven't listened to him in a really long time, but yeah. <laughs> Next I have a shirt that I just got that I love. Um, it's a long sleeve. It's a Primal Right long sleeve and it just says anti-venom. It's a nice little design. Then on the sleeve it says Primal Right and then um, not English. And then at the back it says Revelation Records all at the back. I just got this at Not Dead Yet. So fun. I love, I've been listening to this band a lot recently and like I just needed a long sleeve and I'm so happy I got it because it's actually so nice. This next one is another long sleeve I actually wear too because it's really nice. Um, it's a Sirens and Sailors long sleeve, it's blue tie dye, has their logo. Then on the sleeve it has like all these cool designs. Then on the back it says Rising Moon, Setting Sun. I haven't listened to them in a minute so like I should probably do that but I honestly wear this long sleeve. All the time. Then there is one more long sleeve. I kind of wear this one too but not as much and it just says death to misery. It's the Amity Affliction. Um, has TAA on the sides. I used to wear this one a lot um, but yeah I haven't listened to the Amity Affliction in a minute either. Wow. So I can only find two of my band shorts but it doesn't really matter because I don't really like these anymore just because like the it's just obnoxious and I just feel like I'm stuck in 2012 whenever I wear these. First I have a pair of Blessed of the Fall shorts. These are printed on American Apparel shorts so I want to go get like some plain ones because I'm not here for this. Like I'm really not. Um, but I- and these shorts stretch out so fast. Then I also have a pair of Memphis Mayfire ones and I also have a Crown the Empire pair but I have no idea where they are. I have a Counterparts shirt, I don't know, I ordered this, they were, it was on sale or something, it was like a mystery shirt, and like all Counterparts merch is nice, so I was like, okay, um, but yeah, love Counterparts, their new album, everything, I need to buy it on vinyl, but um, yeah, I really like this shirt. Oh, <laughs> here we have some cringy shirts I would never wear. Um, so first, starting off, we have a Paris shirt, I still love Paris. Um, I actually love that band. Another one of my favorite female fronted bands. They were here yesterday and I like wanted to go because I love them but like I knew I would go insane from the types of people at the show so I just didn't go. But um yeah it just has a mirror on it. This is from the North America tour in 2016. Here's a shirt I never wear and I spent like $40 on the shirt. I'm so dumb. Um it's a 21 pilot shirt. I would never <laughs> wear this in public because whenever I do, they just swarm up to me, the fans, and they're like, I just don't like, I just, okay, I just hate the fan base, I just can't, okay, it's a tour shirt, bought it at their show in 2016, um, honestly, a good, it's a good band, <laughs> just terrible fan base, I honestly don't even listen to them anymore. And like, it's just, yikes. Um, but next I have a Panic at the Disco shirt. This was from, I don't know, I didn't go to this show, but my parents, not my parents, my dad um, picked this up for me when he saw them because he went with my sister and I couldn't go because at the time I played rep soccer. So I had a game or something, I don't know. Um, I don't really wear this one ever either. <laughs> um, then next I have a Pierce the Veil shirt, which I also never wear. Um, Pierce Bill is like they'll always be my favorite band but I just I can't wear their merch in public like I just can't um I bought this Pierce the Veil shirt at their show when I saw them in March it's a tour shirt I honestly bought this and I was like you know what I probably will never wear this but it's a tour shirt <laughs> so I want to buy it this is why I have no money okay moving on to some non cringy merch like honestly this n pile of shirts I'm about to show you these are the shirts that like I actually wear regularly the rest besides some of the long sleeves i like never wear so next i have a knocked loose shirt it says the season of despair and on the back it says master of pain swinging his chains in endless 
tyrant agony and bane i feel like i honestly just butchered that but um yeah i picked this up at warp tour in the summer and next i have a fury shirt i picked this up also at not dead yet i've honestly been listening to fury so much recently just because i just saw them um but yeah i bought this in a medium because i just wanted it oversized then the back it says wait what does it say Oh, it's World Tour 17 and it just says cities, like, it doesn't have dates or anything, but it says Toronto somewhere. Anywho, I really wanted a yellow shirt, so I got one, but this one's kind of like gold, so it's not really yellow, but it's fine. I have a Detain shirt. This has artwork for Capital Punishment on it, an album that came out this year. It's so good. I picked it up online, don't know what website. If you want it, just search up Detain merch, you'll probably find it. This is like old bands, um, so... First, I have a Pink Floyd shirt, it's the Dark Side of the Moon. I picked this up at Urban Outfitters. I really like the colors on the shirt. Um, I picked this up, I was really into Pink Floyd for a bit, so I just bought the shirt. Then I got this Metallica shirt, I think I picked this up at Blue Notes. The good thing about old bands is you can pick up their merch literally anywhere. I mean, it's not official, but it's fine. This is a huge shirt, I think it's in size medium. Nope, it's in size large. And then I have this sublime shirt my dad used to play this all the time when i was growing up so i really like sublime um it has the sun on it and it's like a navy blue shirt i don't know if you can tell on camera but i also picked this one up from blue notes and then i have this anti-flag shirt i got this from their show they're a punk band if you did not know i'm just gonna finish off this pile real quick um next i have another pierce the veil shirt <laughs> who would have guessed um i picked this one up from hot topic I think this is a King for a Day shirt. Then I have a Streetlight Manifesto shirt. I picked this up at their show. I don't know, it was a while ago. Um, then I have a Municipal Waste shirt and it has Donald Trump shooting himself in the head. Um, then it said the only walls we build are walls of death. My dad picked this up for me at their show somewhere, sometime. If you didn't know, Municipal Waste is a thrash band. Next, I have a Beartooth shirt um, in between. Haven't listened to this band in a minute. Also, this is from Hot Topic. Next, I have a Pierce the Veil shirt. <laughs> Once again, this one is also from Hot Topic. Another <laughs> Pierce the Veil shirt. This is from Hot Topic. This is the shirt everyone has. Like, if you like Pierce the Veil or you liked Pierce the Veil once in your life, you probably own this shirt. Then, we have another we. This is mine. Who's we? I don't know. I have a Bring Me the Horizon shirt with that really emo quote. <laughs> Once again, I can't drown my demons. I know how to swim. Next, I have a Melanie Martinez shirt. I got this on the Crybaby tour in 2016. It's honestly so weird or like funny just to see how much I've changed in like a year. It's kind of wild. My camera's dying, of course. Um, I'm gonna try to hurry through this. Next, I have a Mayday Parade shirt. Um, just made a parade on it. I got this at Warp Tour, um, 2014 I think. Then I have this Panic at the Disco shirt, which I feel like everyone has. This is from Hot Topic. Then I have a New Year's Day shirt. Um, it says Creep It Real. Honestly, I would never, ever, ever wear this. Like, I don't know why. Like, this just speaks cringy to me. But, um, I feel like in my last band merch collection, I said this was my favorite. Like, I honestly think I said that. The next up is the Gerard Way Hesitant Alien shirt. It's also signed by Gerard Way somewhere. Oh, right here. Yeah, I met him. He signed it. That was pretty cool. I got this at his show when he, I don't know, whenever he did a North American tour. Then next up is the Sleeping With Siren shirt. This is like oversized. I think it's a size large. I don't know where I got this. I got this, I, think, I don't know, is that some store in the States? can't really remember. This is like records, speakers, phone accessories. But moving on to the shirts that I actually wear and I don't think it's cringy to wear. Um, next I have this counterpart shirt. I love this shirt. It was limited and I'm so happy I bought it. It has an embroidered noose on the front and at the back it just says counterparts and has a noose. Then next I have a The Devil Wears Prada shirt. It has the Spacey P. Like, call, like, galaxy thingy? I don't know. Am I even speaking English? I honestly have worn this shirt so many times because it's just like so plain. Kind of love it. I live for plain band merch. 
Um, next I have a August Burns red shirt. I got this at the Messengers 10 anniversary tour. Um, yeah, not really much to say about that. Next, I have a Memphis Mayfire shirt. I don't really know why this is in this pile because, like, I don't even really listen to them anymore. <laughs> and by don't really, I mean I don't. So, don't really know why that's there. And next, I have a Bless the Fall shirt. This is from the Drop the Gloves tour in 2016. I used to buy, um, what are they called? Tour t shirts? What are they called? I don't know. Um, all the time. Like, these would be my favorite merch thing to buy, I don't buy them anymore. I think it's obnoxious. Like, personally, I don't like wearing them. Um, then next I have this the Amity Affliction shirt. Like, it's just really small. I picked this up on 2400. I liked it, so it's just like a plain shirt. Like, you can't really tell it's band merch. Like, I know I'm wearing band merch, but like, no one else does. Next I have this Trail of Lies shirt. It has the pocket, and it just says Trail of Lies. Um, that's it. It's really plain. Love plain shirts. I picked this up at the uh, Code Orange Jesus piece. Who else was there? Was Eternal Sleep there? Don't really remember. But the Code Orange, they did like three headline shows. Like it wasn't really a tour. Then I have this Law Dispute shirt. This was like my emo dreams. I wanted this shirt for so long. Um, it just has a Law Dispute flower on it. Does it even say Law Dispute? Oh yeah, it does. And. Lastly, for like shirts I'll actually wear is this Out of My League shirt. It just says Resented 2016. Um, Out of My League just came out with a new album, EP, whatever. Definitely go check it out. Out of My League is one of my favorite local bands, so really happy I own that. Um, now moving on, I have like a windbreaker. So this is my windbreaker. It says Bless the Fall. It has a rose. I honestly bought it because it was so plain. And I just wanted a windbreaker. I didn't even really want like a band windbreaker. Well, I kind of did. But I basically just bought this one because it was really plain and like, you can't really tell it's band merch. Um, now sweaters, I don't really wear- I actually don't wear any of these. Like, I actually need to go buy some new sweaters. Yeah, I have a State Champs hoodie. Uh, I picked this up. I don't- Oh, State Champs The Wonder Years. I think that was the show, right? Maybe. Then I have this Mod Sun tie-dye hoodie. Like, if you listen to Mod Sun, you probably have this hoodie. <laughs> um, I picked this up online. None of these crewnecks, I don't wear any of these. Um, I have an A Day to Remember. Crew neck. I used to like want this so bad. Now I don't even wear it. It's kind of funny. Um, a Pierce the Veil crew neck. I used to wear this all the time. Like it's so ugly. It feels so gross because I wore it so much. Oh, ew. I have a 21 Pilots crew neck. Um, this was like from the. What's it called? Vessel Air Era? This is from Hot Topic. Oh yeah, all these crew necks are from Hot Topic. <laughs> a Ghost Town crew neck. The Haunted Youth. Once again, never would wear that. Crown the Empire crew neck. I used to be obsessed with crew necks. If you couldn't tell, my arm's getting tired. Ooh, this is the last thing. Thank God. It's a real friend's crew neck. And then it says, never grow up on the back. I used to be obsessed with this crew neck. I wear it so much. But um, yeah, that's it for my band merch collection. I honestly don't know what to put in the front of this video or in the thumbnail because like, I want people to click on it, but I don't want to put merch that I never wear. But um, Hope you enjoyed. A lot of you guys were asking for this. I don't buy band merch that much, honestly, anymore because I usually spend all my money on records or like, and when I go to a show, I'll buy a record. So that's why I don't really have that many band merch that I would wear now because I spend all my money on records. Um, but I'm working on buying more band merch because I'm slacking in the band merch I'd actually wear era. Area? Yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. My camera's dying. I forgot about that. Um... Hope you liked it. Love you guys a lot. Have a wonderful day. Remember to smile and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.